Hello, welcome back to the woods and welcome back to another video in my bushcraft on a budget series. And in this one, we're going to be looking at your shelter. What is going to keep you and your gear dry? And there's lots of things out there. There's tents, there's teepees, there's bivvies, there's bashers, there's tarps. All of these things, we're going to look at what is right for you and what is a sensible cost. But first, let's get the kettle on. So the romantic idea would be to build shelter as we go. Certainly that would be cost effective, but it's not all that practical. The environment may not permit it. <clears throat> and also it's time. It takes a long time to build an effective natural shelter. We could carry a shelter with us and that certainly does make more sense. Tents are one option. They tend to be bigger and bulkier. I tend to use mine for family camping when I've got the whole family out or in the dead of winter, perhaps if it's snowing, then I'm gonna put a tent up. As well as being heavy, a tent also, well, I'm inside. I'm excluding the natural environment and that's what I've come out to be part of, the natural world. Closing myself off in a tent, it doesn't work. So ideally we want a shelter that is lightweight to carry, that is simple, that allows us to be part of our environment and that also is cost effective. Now whenever I go out I tend to carry this and this is my little Helicontex USGI poncho which is a great option if you're just out for the day, it gives me a waterproof cover, but I can also build a shelter with it. I can use this if I am out overnight. But the area underneath is relatively small and to protect all of my gear, my sleeping bag, etc., I would probably use it with a bivy bag which adds to the expense these are 23 pound but add the cost of a bivy bag and even if you get a surplus one you're probably still looking at sort of 40 odd pounds as a minimum that said the big issue bivy bags make an excellent bivy bag and you can turn those into a small standalone shelter They are a bit heavy and a bit bulky, but they're not a bad cost. You can get lighter weight ones. I've been using the uh, Alpkit Hunker XL Bivy, which is a bit more, 55 pounds. But if you add your 55 pounds to your 23 pounds, suddenly that's 80 odd pounds. <clears throat> so let's look at a couple of other options. You could get the military bashers, and the military bashers, they're a tarp, basically. Slightly more heavy duty, weight-wise a little bit heavier and a little bit bulkier, but that tends to be because of the straps that run down the outside, so they can double up you know, in use as a poncho. Coverage-wise, they're about, I think it's a two and a half meters by two meters, I think, don't quote me on that. But again, they're not particularly cheap, even if you buy them surplus, Ideally, you want one that's brand new or super grade. You're looking at sort of 40 odd pounds. And the area they cover isn't massive. They are good bits of kit. So then we go into the realms of tarps. And there is a lot of choice out there. Several of the big makers, Hilleberg, Far Raven, they make tarps, but they are pretty big money. Also, Ray Mears, 
produces uh, a tarp nowadays, which is a three by three tarp, the ideal size. Three by three is a very, very good size, a very useful size. And his one is 195 pounds, which to me seems a lot for a tarp. Yes, it's lightweight. Yes, because he's got his name on it. It's probably very, very well made. It's got a little pouch that goes in and it's got three extra little tabs on the underside. But that is about it for your 195 pounds. Other manufacturers, well, it's a company called AquaQuest. This is their Survivor tarp, excellent tarp. The company uses very good materials. It's very, very well constructed. This, again, is a three by three. It's got all the usual attachment points. And this is a really good bit of kit, but it's not that cheap. These, I think, are about 120 pounds. Next up, DD, DD tarps. Everyone knows DD tarps. This is one of their super light ones. Again, three by three coverage. Why do we like the three by three so much? The answer is because it's so versatile. You can set it up in lots of different configurations for lots of different environments. This super light one, well, it's put together very well. It is very, very lightweight, so much so I was a little dubious at first but it is a very, very good piece of kit. Doesn't weigh a great deal. As you can see, folds up fairly small, not much bigger than my Helicon Poncho, but it gives you that three by three metre coverage. Not a bad option. This, much less than the AquaQuest one, these are just over 60 pounds, depending where you shop, but a good bit of kit. So my personal recommendation, if you are just starting out and you're on a budget, is this. And this again comes from DD. This is their three by three standard tarp. I checked last night, these are about 33 pounds, which is a bit more than my Helicon Poncho, but this is so big, a three by three meter tarp. I don't need a bivy bag under this. A three by three meter square is plenty enough space to live. It gives you plenty of protection from the weather. And if you know how to set them up, this is an excellent year round tarp. It can be used in wide open spaces. You can just make them up as a small tent. You can suspend them between trees, from fences. You can do a plow point. You can do A-frames. You can do lean-tos. You can do everything with one of these. These truly are a great bit of kit. And for 33 quid, they are not bad at all. If you put with this, <clears throat> a small ground sheet, which you can buy very cheap in the camping shops, you have an excellent, excellent shelter system. Yeah, there is a couple of other little expenses and they are little expenses. Pegs and cord. Make your own. These are my jungle toggles. Those of you who've watched my videos regularly, if you go back through my top tips, you will find a how-to on how to make the jungle toggles. They are cheap, they work very, very well. As far as peg goes, well, again, these are little dogwood pegs. If you go back through my simple stick projects, there's how to make these. This set, I think I've had about five years. They are excellent and they didn't cost anything. Free, my favorite price. Yes, people will try to sell you all sorts of fancy, super lightweight pegs. Yes, they will try and sell you all sorts of super cord sets. I think the Ray Mears one was about 15 pounds, which for a few lengths of paracord, again, I thought it was quite pricey. <coughs> That's my top tip. Some jungle toggles that you make yourself and a few pegs that you make yourself. That and your standard DD tarp. 
you're sorted. If you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, then remember, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. If you look in the description box down below, there is a Linktree link and that will take you over to my Etsy shop where you can buy my patches and there's a few other bits and pieces on there as well. Keep an eye on the shop because there are some new items coming up. Uh, there's a replan of the little EDC light patches should be coming up in the next couple of weeks. So keep your eyes on the shop. There's also a link over there to my Patreon page. If you want to get ahead of the queue on the kit in the shop, become a patron. You get a discount and you get first dibs on all the kit. There's also a link over there to my Instagram and my Facebook pages. Please pop over there and give me a follow too. I think that's everything. I've been Neil and until next time, stay safe.